I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Our Lord is such a good God. He's such a merciful God. He's such a gracious God, and He's with us. He never leaves us, and He never, ever forsakes us. I tell you, my dear friend, when you put your trust in Jesus, you can never be disappointed. Because you see, our Lord is such a gracious God. He is a merciful God and He forgives us. And He enables us to make it through even the toughest situations that we can face. Now, my dear friend, the Lord has instructed me because today is Friday and on Friday we pray Friday financial prayers. The Lord has instructed me to pray special prayers over all your documents. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. We're going to begin with some praise. And even as the presence of God comes in the place, I'm going to request that you get your documents and then we're going to begin to pray. Now, in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to praise God. Praise Him in your own words. Just lift up praise to God until the presence of God comes in the place. And even as you begin to discern the presence, as the presence of God comes in the place, in that place where you're watching, we're going to begin to pray and God will bless you. Now, in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. There is no other God like you. We just worship you and we just give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, for all your grace, your mercy. Thank you for being with us. You never leave us. You never, ever forsake us. Lord, if it wasn't for your presence being with us, we wouldn't even be here today. We wouldn't even be able to seek you today. But it is because you never leave us and you never forsake us. It is your love that enables us to keep on going. It's your mercy that preserves us. It is your loving kindness that gives us the life that we need in order to keep on going. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for the miracle of salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the family members that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, that we get to spend another day with them. We thank you for this time that we can pray. We thank you for this time that we can seek you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you thought of us and you made a way for us so that we could receive salvation, so that we could be raised up with you, so that we could inherit the kingdom, so that we could inherit the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow, so that we could inherit the promise. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. There is no other God like you. There is no other Lord like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are our God and we trust in you. We believe in you. We believe in your wonder-working power. We believe in your deliverance-working power. We believe that you are here with us even as we pray. We believe that you are making a way where there seems to be no way. And you are opening up the way even today as we pray special Friday financial prayers. As we begin to pray over all the documents. Father, I thank you that miracles are going to happen. Doors are going to open. Divine things are going to happen. And my dear friend who's watching this video is going to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you that your love never runs out. We thank you, Lord, that you're always with us, preserving us, helping us to keep on going, helping us to believe in you, helping us to trust you, helping us to live the way that you need us to live. Lord, because we recognize that in our own strength we are powerless and we can't do it without you. We can't do it without Jesus. We can't do it without the Holy Spirit. We can't do it without your power that enables us to make it through. Lord, we recognize and we realize that without you, we are nothing. And even today, we humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves and we set our heart's number one desire to be more of your presence, knowing that as we have more of your presence, all these other things that we desire, they shall be added unto us. Lord, today I ask you in the name of Jesus, Open up doors, doors of blessing, doors of favor, doors of business, doors of promotion in the workplace, doors of receiving jobs and better jobs, doors of tenders, 
doors of miraculous healing, doors of divine friendships and divine relationships, doors of meeting the right person and shut every door of evil where the enemy is robbing from us. Lord, supply all of our needs. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God and I know like I know that as we pray today, my dear friend, God is going to bless you. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, as we begin to pray over your documents, I want you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is a simple prayer. Say it out loud and say this with me, my dear friend. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Holy Spirit, come and touch me. Come and change my life. I welcome you to move and touch me in this place. I welcome you to move and touch my family members. I welcome you to move and come and glorify King Jesus in this place. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. Now, my dear friend, I want you to pause this video. Quickly go and get your documents. Whatever document it is, as you are trusting God, God shall come through for you mightily. As long as that document is in the will of God, whatever you're trusting God for, are you trusting God for a business? Are you trusting God for a job? Are you trusting God for a visa or a permit to stay in a certain place, in a certain country? Go and get your application letters, get your receipts, get any documentation that is linked to what you are trusting God for. And today, we are going to pray special prayers. Now, I'm going to mention a few that God has given me. And even as I pray, if I haven't mentioned the specific document that you have in your hand, then don't worry about that, my dear friend. God's power is going to touch that document. God is going to open up the way. God is going to see and He will make a way for you. My dear friend, other people out there choose to trust in man-made ideas. Other people choose to trust in horses. Other people choose to trust in chariots. But we will trust in the Lord God Almighty and He will make a way for us. In saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, let your Holy Spirit just begin to hover over these documents. Let your power touch these documents. Wherever there's any evil spirit that is standing in the way of your dear child who's watching this video from getting into this specific place or getting these documents processed, Lord, right now I pray send fire and send your holy, higher-ranking warring angels to go and begin to fight for my dear friend and to open up the way. I pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, release your power and your fire over those documents right now. Whatever document it is, even if I do not mention it, let your power and your strength begin to touch these documents. Open up the way, Lord. Lord, because for the one who is in you, for your child, there is no such thing as stagnation. There is no such thing as not being fruitful. So Lord, I pray, open up the way. Remove every form of stagnation in my dear friend's life, in my dear friend's career, in my dear friend's job, in my dear friend's business, in my dear friend's life. Remove every form of stagnation. Open up the way for my dear friend so that my dear friend may go to a greater glory. Lord, in whatever area that my dear friend is trusting you, let a miracle happen as long as it's in line with your word and your will. Lord, because we understand you are a God who honors your word. What you said in the beginning, you are still saying it now. What you did in the beginning, in line with your word, you do now. Father, we give you praise and we thank you that even as we pray over these documents today, my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter, wherever they're watching from, they are going to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We give you praise and we thank you, O God, because of your anointing that is here today. Lord, wherever there's any visas, as my dear friend might be trusting you for a certain visa to come through or a certain permit application to come through, Lord, I pray, open up the door. Where it is your will that my dear friend goes, open up the door so that my dear friend may go. And even as my dear friend goes, Lord, let the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow follow my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend has gone to a certain place and things are not working out in that place, there is blockage after blockage, barrier after barrier. Begin to open up the way so that my dear friend may begin to make progress. 
and let it be a testimony that Jesus Christ is alive and he is fighting for us and he's making a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, wherever my dear friend does not have a job and my dear friend has sent out their CVs everywhere, right now, Lord, even as my dear friend has their CV, Lord, anoint this document that wherever it goes, there will be favor, that once my dear friend hands out this document, they will get back calls from everywhere requesting them and they will be able to select the best job. Lord, wherever there are any house application letters, Lord, I know in this time and in this season, there are many of your children who are trusting you for new houses. They are trusting you for new property. They are trusting you for new things. They are trusting you for office application letters. They are trusting you that things will work out, that things will be granted, that things will work out smoothly. Lord, I pray that you will open up the way. Supply everything that my dear friend needs. Wherever my dear friend has been waiting for a long time for title deeds to come, but those title deeds are being held back and they're not being given to my dear friend. Even though my dear friend has paid their due right and they are waiting and they expect those documents, they have done their side, but those documents aren't coming. Supply for my dear friend, open up the way. Let those documents delay no longer, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Father, wherever my dear friend has a business plan and my dear friend is trusting you to make that business a success, bless this business plan that when investors, that when stakeholders see that business plan, they may be favorable about that business, that they will favor that idea, that they will favor my dear friend, and my dear friend will have divine ability to utilize the resources that are made available to them as a good steward does, and my dear friend will be able to multiply that in business so that all the stakeholders will be happy, that wherever there's any tenders that my dear friend is trusting you for, Lord, I pray that you will let my dear friend get favor and get those tenders. Lord, wherever there are any health statements that are wrong, that are showing a negative report, Lord, I pray that you will change it around, intervene in the situation, intervene divinely. We commit to one thing, O oh God. We commit to not doing that thing that caused the problem in the first place. We commit to change because we know you want us to change for the better. You want us to change not because of some rigid rules that you want us to follow, but because you know that it is best for us. You are our Father and you care for us. We thank you for your care. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. Intervene divinely even in health statements. Turn it around, Lord. Bring divine health where doctors said it's the end. Lord, where doctors said you only have a few days to live. Let my dear friend live for 20, 30, 40, even 50 years more. Lord, where doctors have said, it's not looking good. Lord, let those doctors see as you intervene divinely. Lord, I pray over my dear friend's marriage. Wherever any marriage documents have been delayed, or wherever there's any issue coming in my dear friend's marriage, trying to bring a divorce, because we understand and we know that divorce is not your will. Father, I pray that you will intervene divinely. Whatever situation it is, be it fighting, be it abuse, be it any demonic influence, that is causing the decision of divorce to come up. Let it be removed right now. Lord, I pray wherever there was any unfaithfulness, restore marriages, restore relationships, restore them, Lord. Protect the family unit. Lord, there are so many children out there that are living in broken homes. Lord, there are enough broken homes out there. Protect that marriage. Lord, restore the love in that marriage. Restore the love and even the attraction, Lord, in that marriage. I pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, wherever doctors have issued documents saying that my dear friend is barren, that my dear friend cannot have children, Lord, today as we are praying under this powerful anointing, this powerful grace, Lord, intervene divinely. As we are praying special Friday financial prayers, do other miracles also, Lord. Break the yoke of poverty and also break the yoke of infirmity. Break all evil yokes that are placed on my dear friend so that my dear friend may go to a greater glory even in this season. And Lord, we know that we go from glory to glory so we are always going to a greater glory. Open up the way, Lord. Lord, wherever my dear friend's name has been written down on the wrong documents that are designed to bring calamity, stress and problems, let my dear friend's name be rubbed off right now by your power and by your anointing. Send your angels out to go and rub off my dear friend's name off the wrong documents. 
so that my dear friend may be blessed going in and coming out. Wherever my dear friend's name has been written down, written with curses, Lord, I pray that you will break all those curses and let every document in the evil world that is holding my dear friend's name, let it be burnt up, let it be destroyed. I pray this in Jesus' name, so that no evil on any evil documents will come through to my dear friend's life. Send your angels to go before my dear friend and begin to fight for my dear friend, so that my dear friend may be set free. Even right now, do what only you can do. Open up the way. Open up the divine path that my dear friend needs to walk in. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.